Lions TV, this is a post-match analysis video for last night's 2-1 win over Hull at the KC Stadium. I've just got home, I've had a great two days, a brilliant performance. I predicted it, that we'd lose the game. I'm pleased to say I got it wrong. Let's take a look at the 11 to start the match. In goal, Jordan Archer, at right back Marlon Romeo, left back James Meredith, central defence pairing of Jake Cooper and Sean Hutchinson, right midfield Jed Wallace, left midfield Ben Marshall, in the middle Sean Williams and George Savile, and up front Lee Gregory and the one changing aside Tom Elliott come in to partner him. Was that the 11 I would have picked? No, probably not. I would have I would have brought Fred in. I wouldn't have dropped Morrow if I would have done. I wouldn't have done it freely. But listen, what do I know? We've got the three points, and and it was a great performance. We started the game, you know, 51 seconds. We're flying. The goals we scored, as the same at Burton, were at the other end to where our, our fans were. So I, was, I could see it go across the box, and and I could see Savile had finished it. I, we didn't realise in real, well, I didn't realise in real time how good the goal was. It was a brilliant goal. Jed Jed goes down the right. He sticks a lovely ball in. Jeb was outstanding last night, by the way. Gregor's put his name after shame, as, as I think Bermondsey boy said on Twitter. Brilliant back heel. And Savile shows great composure to get the ball under control and slot it in for 1-0. And, you know, whole club, dishevelled, in turmoil. They, they didn't need that. You know, the ground was half empty. There was no noise from whatsoever. It was, it was almost bur it was worse than Birmingham. It was as bad as when we went to Coventry last season. They, you know, they're in dire straits and they're struggling straight away. We, we continued to press, we continued to press, and we had chances. Gregory had a shot, notably, that I f we appealed to a penalty, got blocked, went wide for a corner. Jeb Wallace brings a brilliant save out of their goalkeeper. Then slowly Hull start to get back into the game, start to find their feet, hit the crossbar. Marlon Romeo last night, I see Jeb was outstanding, so was Marlon. The whole back four. Our back four is, is an absolute fucking joke. Excuse my language. They, Sean Hutchinson... He's probably our best player, and he has been the player of the year, in my opinion, by a mile. Last night, he was he was still brilliant, but he was the worst one of the back four. Our full-backs were sensational. Jake Cooper, Jake Cooper, I'll, I'll be very surprised if Jake Cooper doesn't go for big money in a couple of years' time. He's getting better and better every game, but Marlon, yeah, Marlon blocks it. He made about three last-ditch tackles last night, Marlon. He was brilliant. Then, you know, just as it looks like Hull could get something out of the game and get back on terms... We go up the other end, and once again, we get our stroke of luck. The ball comes across from Marshall, who I thought played well last night again. He's doing sort of one-on-one-off, -on -one -off, isn't he? He's doing his shifts. But the ball comes in. Cooper rises high, gets his head to it, and it deflects off the defender's shoulder and seems to take an eternity to loop into the net, and we're 2 new up at half-time. You know, as we, it's mere war. It's, ne it's never done. It's never game over. Something could always happen, and it always does. We come out of the second half, we, we, we continue to press. We actually scored a third goal. Cross comes in from the right and George Savile bundles it home, but it was adjusted to be a foul on a goalkeeper, so that was disallowed. Then I actually was charging my phone from my laptop because I was trying to do a bit of, bit of podcasting, a bit of everything. I turned around and put my charger back in the bag and bam. Having watched it back, it's a very soft goal. It comes across. It's one of the ones that can happen sometimes though. The ball comes in and just it eludes everyone and somehow, somehow it goes in. But although that gave us the last, the dreaded 10, the last 10, shitty bum time, it, it added to the result at the end. It added to the relief uh, uh, and the elation at, at full time. If you was there last night, you know what I mean. The togetherness that was shown. The, the players just, I mean, all right, they've had that one momentary lapse of concentration with a goal. As I said, it can happen. They were absolutely just throwing their bodies on the line, throwing it in front of everything. They want to win for each other so badly, and it's written all over their faces. You can see they're so up for it. They're starting to believe... At full time, you know, they've come down the hour end and, 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 and they're just giving it everything to the fans. Even Morrow's giving it that one. I'm the governor. I'm the governor, Morrow, just so you know. But you could have that one last night. Yeah, it was, you know, just, they're just so, they're so vocal. You know, they're, they're so animated in front of our fans. And, and it's brilliant to see it. And it is getting us results. Uh, so we defended, like, like our lives depended on it. You thought we was in a relegation dogfight last night, the way we defended. Uh, to be 11th in the table... No, I'm not knocking 11. I'm saying we're getting that towards the plus, but you would have, you would, they were defending like it was a cup final. And every game they're playing like it's a cup final. It's, 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 it's so refreshing to see. I was driving home, and I've just got back, and I was thinking to myself as well, and I've just put it on Twitter, what other club in the world could you, could, you know, could visually and publicly struggle so badly away from home that it's starting to become an issue you know, within the tabloids and, and around the club? 
Coleman in a away game all season. From that, within eight weeks, to turn it around to breaking, I believe it's a club record, the most away wins on a bounce. Five. Listen, the Den was our fortress, and, and now we seem to be even better on the road. It, it could only happen at Millwall. It could, it could only happen at Millwall. I said before the game, you know, that this was a real, not a six-pointer, but this would determine our season. I said to Kieran on the way up, I honestly, <laughs> hold my hands up, I thought we were going to lose last night. I know, you know, momentum and, and how well we're playing and they're struggling. It should mean that, that we, we should have won the game. I just had a feeling, you know, a cold Tuesday night and all that we would struggle. And then I thought that Brentford would come and do the business on us this Saturday as well. So a good football inside. And I'm very pleased to say that, you know, I got it wrong. Saturday's massive now. Saturday's absolutely massive. Last night and Saturday, a, a difference between us having, you know, a very happy mid-table finish and, and a good achievement to us pushing in that last that last ten games for a playoff spot. I'm expecting the den to be full Saturday. It needs to be full. And the away games wise, listen, Barnsley, you've got to get out of bed two hours earlier. Sheffield United, you've got to get out of bed two hours earlier. Who gives a fuck? They they deserve all the support in the world at the minute, the team and the manager, for, for what they're doing away from home. is superb. So if you can I know it's a trick, I know it ain't cheap, but really try and put it in to get to these last few away games and give the boys a push, because fuck me, do they deserve it. So that is your lot for this post-match analysis video. Before some clever dick says it below and comments, yes, I'm wearing a baseball cap, I'm in a rush. So it's either this or it's this. So we've gone with a baseball cap. I've worn mine since about 25 years old. I think I'm half pulling it off, am I? I don't know, let me know. I'll see you tomorrow for a pre-match prediction for this Saturday's London Derby big game at home to Brentford. Please feel the den. Hope to see you there. Please subscribe to Lions TV. I'm spitting everywhere. Come on, you Lions.